Let's go to this side. That's way better. Lots of gold in there. On this episode, I'm back out on the river with an old friend. It's been quite a while since we've seen each other, and we were both itching to get back out on the gold, and I knew just the spot. This bit of bedrock on this inside bend holds quite a bit of flower gold. We're going to set up the sluice box and see just how much flower gold we can get in a day, and I have a good feeling we might find a lot. Well, hello and welcome, folks. Prospector Jerry. We're on another adventure today. It's been a minute. I haven't been to this spot in a long time. It's literally been years since I've actually even been on this river. This isn't the Yuba River. I'm not going to give away my location, but I will just say it's not my normal stomping grounds. I'm kind of getting my bearings straight here with what's going on with this inside bend here. Doing a little bit of sampling. I already got some gold. I'll show you. This is from one sample pan here. Not even that much material, really. I want to say about a handful of material. But quite a bit of gold in there. And that's a full-size pan. So, got one picker, a bunch of little flakes. This is one heck of a beautiful spot, that's for sure. It's a beautiful day. It's about, I want to say, maybe 80 degrees, somewhere around there. Upper 70s. Got some other prospectors down here, working the gravel bar down there. There's some other people even down there. And then there's this one stranger that I just stumbled upon. Look who I have with me. <laughs> Candace is back. You guys wanted to see her in action. She's back digging again. I think I'm gonna break out the sluice box. There's a spot right over here. You can see this nice little, I think I could get a sluice box set up in there. And that way we could just dump everything into the sluice, do some panning, whatever. So, super excited. Let's get to it. What we're working is this bedrock up here. And what's happening is over millions and millions of years, this shelf is moving up and it's growing out of the river, pushing up on this side and this side over here is pushing up over there. And so this used to be way down in here. So what material we are getting out of here, even though it's sandy, you know, it holds gold in it from floods, eons of different stages basically and you can obviously see there's not a lot of big gravel here so we're not going to find any big gold but there is a lot of small material therefore there's a lot of fine gold in all these cracks and that's what we're after so candace is over here working this crack Right in here. And it's actually pretty nice. It runs all the way up there. We do it here. Yeah, some gold in there for sure. Awesome. Good job. Hey. <laughs> yeah, go for it. So basically what we're doing here is looking for shallow pockets of gravel on bedrock. The tighter packed the gravel, the better the material is. Once you've located one of these pockets, you simply take a hammer or pry bar and loosen up the material and either pan it out in the river or run it through a sluice box. We're running a sluice box to concentrate the material here. We'll later bring it home and run it through a blue bowl and separate the gold there. So I've been busy sluicing away over there. I got half a bucket of material still. These people down here doing the same thing. They're sluicing, but they're pulling their material from over here on this gravel bar. I think I'm going to ditch my spot up here. I'm not noticing too much new gold falling out 
in the box. Probably gonna go over here and see what I could see. There's some cracks right here that look really good. Even this little guy, it's got some debris in it. But all up in here, all up in here, looks really good. This one especially looks good. It's old, it hasn't been moved in a while. Same here. This is my next project. Candace and I worked this bedrock pretty much all day. There were enough cracks and crevices to keep us busy, and we had plenty of material to run through the sluice. Once we would clean off the bedrock, we would use a vacuum to get all the last little bit of gold and debris off of it. This is usually the richest part. Candace she just panned out this pan from over here. This crack right here. Been working on that. Vac that thing out. I'm over here. And I just ran a bunch of that material through the sluice box. Let's see what she got out of that vac run. Lots of gold in there. There's a lot in the black sand you can't even see either. I mean, it's down in here, I mean. There's a bit of it over here too. Yeah, you can see a little bit over here. Blue bowl material. Good job. <laughs> so it's about three o'clock. Ran probably about three to four full buckets through this thing. And this is what it's looking like. Quite a bit of gold in there. It's all gold. That pile up there is all gold. Pretty good. Probably around a gram, not more. Hopefully a lot more. <laughs> well, it is 4.30. We're just checking out the sluice box. We pulled it from over there. Cleaned it out. We have some gold and black sand here. And some more black sand with gold in it over here. At least I could show you some gold before I have to... I'm gonna have to take it home and blue bowl it. But you can see just how saturated it is with gold. Can't really get it out of the black sand by panning it like this. But plenty in there. Some bits of lead. No, I think we did pretty good. What do you think? A okay. A -okay? All right, we're out of here. We got an awesome day. Found a good amount of gold. Just got it all cleaned up. Got the bags packed. We're about to head down that way. That way. <laughs> got about a. I don't know, an hour hike, but totally worth it. It was a great day. Let's see what we got. Nice. Over a penny. Anyway. Almost two grams of gold for just a fun day out on the river. It was great seeing Candace and getting back out on the gold again with her. 
We always seem to have pretty good luck when we're together. If you're interested in buying pay dirt with gold and minerals found in these episodes, please check out the links in the description below. I'd like to say thank you to all my Patreon members. It's because of you that all of these adventures are possible, and I can't thank you enough for all the support. If you're considering becoming a Patreon member, check out the link in the description below. There's also a link in the top right corner of the next screen. Patreon members have many benefits, including group outings and chances at winning guided tours. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Also consider subscribing for future gold related content. Thank you for watching and as always I wish you heavy pants.